Howdy folks and welcome back. Today I got a four part video for you. I want to start with possibly debunking the first UFO footage I uploaded late last year. I recorded something very similar Tuesday, April 14th with my $3,500 300mm lens. And I had flight radar handy which verified that it was a helicopter. You can easily see the secondary blue light. It's very possible the footage I posted previously had that same secondary light and I just couldn't see it without a telephoto lens. I never did check the flight radar either which is a rookie mistake. Here's some more footage I recorded on April 14th. This is clearly a plane. It is a little odd to see a plane this close to the power plant, however that's not the point. I want to point out how the lights are only visible from the front angle. As the plane turns, the headlights disappear. The first part of this video, I see the solid light from the front and it's bright like you would expect of any plane. Once it flies over me, I'm looking at it from the back and it's still extremely bright. This light has the same characteristics as my first two sightings over 15 years ago and one of those crafts defied physics. So I'm still going to consider this one abnormal. Now for an odd blur on a picture. I have no idea what it is and I wouldn't make a video just for this, but I'm reporting anything unusual that I capture. These pictures were taken on Monday, April 13th at 7.42 p.m. from the same angle, within the same minute, different focal lengths, but the same lens. The first picture has this number six looking blur, but the second one is normal. I have roughly 450 pictures from this night over the course of two and a half hours and only one has this defect. Again, I have no idea what it is, but it made me curious as I was looking through all these pictures. The same night I took those pictures, I saw two satellites, but they seem to travel faster than you would expect. According to Google, they should cross the sky in four or five minutes, where I estimate these crossed in two minutes or less. I also saw two shooting stars. One was obviously a meteorite, however the second one didn't have a tail. According to Google, it is possible if the rock was denser, it wouldn't evaporate during entry into our atmosphere. A tail is caused by the rock vaporizing, while a dense one would only heat up so that it glows, but not break apart. I've personally never seen one like that before, and it's more rare, but it is still explainable. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to record any of that since it happened too fast. Fun fact, only one person in recorded history has ever been directly hit by a meteorite. Anne Hodges, age 34, was taking a nap when a 9-pound meteorite came through her ceiling and bounced off a radio before hitting her in the thigh. Now it's story time, courtesy of a fellow Minnesotan. This is read to directly from the email he sent me. So I have a few friends that I like to go smelting with in the springtime. They only spawn at night, so we're under the stars all night if there aren't any clouds. In Sandstone, Minnesota, we go to Grindstone Lake every year, and every year we always see weird stuff in the sky. I want to get a low exposure camera and try to get some footage. We've seen objects zipping around like zigzagging, turning instant 180s, splitting into multiple objects, and we've seen them randomly appear one at a time in groups of three or four. Seen some blink brightly and vanish, and one time we were watching like 25 objects all move around and speeding off in random patterns. We saw a super bright orange ball that was pretty low stopped above the lake and then just took off and disappeared. If I do get some footage, I would love to put it on YouTube. Been going up there every spring for five years and we almost always see activity in the sky. Kind of creepy, honestly. Won't go up by ourselves anymore. This story intrigues me because it was recent, happened more than once in the same location, and multiple people witnessed it. It's only 15 minutes further away than where I typically go, so I plan to be spending some time at this lake attempting to record what they saw. That wraps up this video. Stay safe and thanks for stopping by. 